Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net. Uh, Madden 17 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise this is episode 32. We are in week three here in season number two as we're getting ready to take on a another AFC North opponent here. We're taking on the Baltimore Ravens as you see there both coaches there. 0-2 for the Ravens here in week three as they're trying to get their first win. Now they had a tough game against the Browns just a week ago as RG3 put a good number on them. And, of course, the pressure that was put on by the Browns, uh, who actually won the game, won the game based on a uh, possession, had the final ball, uh, having the game in the final uh, rundown of the game, winning, winning that game there in Cleveland. So, Baltimore like to try to turn things around here today and try to pick up a victory here against us as we are now 2-0 after we had a great game last week there against the Browns or excuse me the, uh, the Bears. So uh, there you see both ball clubs the record so far here and we're hoping to try to turn things around as take a look here at our injury report as we do as we always do here. Uh, take a look at the injuries there. Now take a look at some of the Baltimore's injuries. There's uh, one key one right there, Elvis Dumerville. Doom He's going to be out for two weeks with a short tear shoulder. I uh, got a lot of uh, Ravens there. Kind of got a lot of tears and whatnot. Now the tight end, the head tight end, the, the starter, Crockett Gilmore, he's going to be out for a couple of weeks there with a foot fracture. Uh, and, of course, uh, there you see 6'6", 270 pounds. From Colorado State, their uh, uh, starting tight end, he's going to be out. I believe their second string tight end's out also. We'll see him here in just a bit. But Ter Terrell Suggs, there you see his numbers. Uh, he's going to be in today's game. That's always a guy that we have to avoid here as he is the uh, right, right outside linebacker. Joe Flacco, of course, there you see, nine-year veteran from the great College of Delaware. 6'6", 32 years of age. 245 pounds, former uh, Super Bowl champion himself. And uh, he would like to get back in that uh, winning route here. But he has to do so. If uh, in, in doing that, he's going to have to try to get today's win. Uh, Antonio Andrews, there you see his numbers, uh, the halfback there. Now, he will not be started, of course. Uh, he's out on injury. Uh, or uh, He's a uh, he's been actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I last time I uh, he has uh, been set. He's going to set out uh, Isaiah Corwell. He will also he will be in the game. Uh, he is now a, a backup, but uh, Forrest will be the head uh, running back uh, for them. Now they do have some wide receivers here. Is one of them that we're going to have to take a look at and try to focus in on here as we um, play get uh, deal with the offense uh, side of the ball. And then Max Williams, there you, he is the third string uh, tight end. He from uh, two year veteran from Minnesota, 6'4", 250 pounds, twenty three years of age. He will have to uh, be catching the balls there for uh, the Ravens here when it comes to the tight end. So Joe Flacco, there you see his numbers. So for the season there, we'll see what he can do here. First and ten, ball in the twenty two yard line here for the Ravens as. They go hand hand this one off to Forsett, and Forsett will go ahead and run this one. He will get enough for uh, the first down there as he does a little juke move there. Uh, actually, they'll say he's shy of the first down, but we'll see second and in inches now here for Flacco. It's Flacco uh, go ahead. That's going to be a play action here. He's going to throw this one, and that's going to be picked off by Thomas as Thomas is going to go ahead and take this one to the end zone, and that is going to score the first points of the day. A pick six there. For the Steeler defense, their nice job as the Steelers defense has been really stepping up here. If you remember in the last game, the same thing kind of happened against uh, Flack or against uh, Cutler there, and he got an interception on the first uh, drive of the that his of the uh, Bears offense there. So something that's uh, actually been a trend here as of late here in the last two weeks, defense helping us out here by scoring. So. 7 nothing now. Pittsburgh leads it here. Now we'll see the ball back to the Ravens as the Ravens give it to the, uh, the halfback. And that will be a game or a short game there for them as that's just going to give them one. Now, second and nine. 
Ball on the 39 or 34 yard line here. Hand off to Forsett. And Forsett will go ahead and run this one. He will get enough for the first down. They'll see about uh we'll see about eleven on the play. And we'll walk out to 44. 44. Now first and ten for Flacco. And again, there you see they get the ball to Forsett once again there, trying to run the ball and trying to get some things moved. But wait a minute, we got a flag here. And we'll see here at second on and seven who this is going to be on. And it looks like it's going to be called up on Hardgrove. The, the, uh, last year, of course, he was a rookie for us. And now he is a, a first-year player. And we'll see that they'll get a, a five-yard penalty there on the encroachment. Now we'll see second and two. And Joe Flacco getting taken down there. Nice sack there by Ryan Shazier as he gets in there. And that's going to be a third and nine situation here. It's going to be a passing situation for the Ravens. As Shazier gets in there and makes a nice play. So, again, putting some pressure on here. This is what the defense has been doing here. They'll actually last uh, now three weeks now on their on the opposing quarterbacks here. And that's what I'm really hoping that the linebackers will do here is be able to get in there, bull rush, um, getting the help there from the offensive line. Now, third and nine, and we'll see here a pass situation like I mentioned. Joe Flacco looking, has enough time there. That one gets batted away there, and that is going to be a three. And out there on the Ravens, and they'll be forced to punt the ball. Now, there you see Ben Roethlisberger, 643 yards, seven touchdowns, four interceptions for the first two games so far here this season. We'll see what he can do here today as he goes first and 10, ball on the 29-yard line here for the Steelers. And they'll hand this one off to Bell. Bell will try to run this one, and he will get stopped there. Right back at the uh, line, original line of scrimmage. Now, later on, third and five, a big play here. Trying to convert for the first down here. We're up by seven in the mid part of the first quarter. As you see a man in motion, that would be Johnson, the fullback. And Rothsberger throws this one up there. That's getting batted away there. Nice job from the defender there. Getting a hold of that one. That is Witherspoon there making a nice defensive stop. And that forces to punt the ball. Now, third and ten now for the Ravens. As they got try a chance here to try to convert for a first down, they'll go ahead, throw this one up there, but that ball will get hit, or the player will get hit, and the ball will be popped out of his hands there. That's going to force them to punt the ball. As we'll see here, fourth and ten now. Why are we showing this? Well, you're about to see here. Ball's on the eight-yard line here. We're about The uh, Ravens are going to punt the ball here, and this is a high, deep punt here for Bryant as Bryant gets the catch. Bryant. Gets some good blocking here. He finds a hole here on the left side of the field here. He's going to take this one all the way down. Finally gets in there, and that is going to be a nice punt return. 60 yards on the punt return as Bryant scores there. Now the special teams now have scored. So off or defense and off, or excuse me, defense and special teams have both scored. Offense has not. And that's honestly, I, I kind of like this today. That's uh, really helping. The Pittsburgh Steelers offense here is they're having a bit of a slow start here today in the first, uh, and this is a game here in the first quarter. Now we'll go third one. Blacko drops back, fires this one. That gets ball gets batted away, and that's going to be another three and out for the Ravens as they're going to, again, going to have to be forced to punt the ball. Now after the punt here, they get the ball the 47 yard line here, and Bell will go ahead and run this one there for a short gain there. Go ahead and mark him for about four on the on the run there. It'll be now second and six. Ball on the midfield here for the Steelers. As you see, Ben Roethlisberger trying to calm down the line here, or trying to calm down the uh, crowd here as he's trying to get, let the line hear what he has to say. They call a play here, and they let this one. This will hand off to Bell. Bell will run this one. He will get to the 36-yard line there. That's going to be a first down. Moving the chains here as we'll now go ahead and get to the uh, marker here at the 36-yard line here. First and 10, and we'll see what Bell's going to do here. Of course, he's a longtime veteran here, the quarterback. And there you see a nice pass there to Green. Green goes in, gets in there, wide open spaces there. The tight end gets in, and that is going to be a touchdown for the Steelers. So now... All sides of the game here, the offense, defense, and special teams have scored a touchdown. Take a look here at the replay and see that, yes, he does have the ball here. And like I said, in the last two games, he's had a bit of a slow start here. And hopefully today, that'll be something different as uh, we'll get the old green that we had just a season ago 
who was playing very well and right off the uh, starting blocks there for us, doing uh, having you know over a, uh, pretty much a season of a thousand yards. There you see an incomplete pass there. That's going again going to force the Ravens here to punt the ball, get the ball back to the Steelers here. Now first and ten, ball on the twenty-one yard line for uh, Ben Roethlisberger as he's going ahead and hand off this one to Bell. Bell gets enough there for the first down. He will move the chains to the 31-yard line there. Nice run. There you see five carries, 33 yards, and hasn't gotten to the end zone just quite yet. So now we go ahead and move and see here that it's going to be a first 10 ball and 31-yard line with 2.30 left here in the first quarter. And there you see nice uh, little running catch there. From the receiver, as uh, Brian gets that one, and that's going to be enough for the first down. Now, later on, third and 11 here, a big play for the Steers trying to keep the ball here with uh, getting close to a minute left here in the first quarter. Rothenberger drops back, fires, rifle this one at Green. Green gets the catch, and that's going to be a first down. Nice play for Ben Rothenberger and the Steelers. First is, uh, now, first and 10 here, ball and 34 yard line here, and now. We'll see that Bell will get a, a good run there. That's going to be a couple yards there. Not enough to move the chains, but just enough to get something going. Now, second and five. We'll see uh, the formation here that Bell's going to be set up for. Bell's going to go off to the far right here, finds a hole, and gets into it. And he's able to get knocked down at the 21 as, after we end the first quarter. So now, second quarter action here. We'll see now with a... First and 10, we'll see that the Steers, uh, Ben Rothberg, going to throw this one right there to Jesse James, the outlaw, who gets the catch and just a two yards shy there of scoring as he gets taken down at the two yard line. So inside the five yard line here, they're going to try to, probably my guess would be, is try to run this one. They'll hand off there to Bell. And Bell will get stopped there and he will get smacked down at the back, uh, actually go back two yards to the four. Now, at ball at the six yard line here, third and goal. They're going to try a little slant uh, play here and try to get the inside guy as they do so, but not enough to get into the end zone. And that's going to force them to uh, uh, kick the ball here as they have a field goal opportunity against these two clubs. All right, waiting for the kick here, trying to set things up and try to get it right here as we look for the kick. And the kick is up and the kick is is good so three points on the board now 24 to nothing as we hear in the early part of the second quarter now first and 10 now for the ravens as they had the ball at the 25 yard line we'll hand this one off to Forsett. Forsett will get the carry there he has now got open wide space here jukes one player here and then breaks a tackle and then takes off here and finishes off the run here what a great run from him as he gets that one nice play for him, a 75-yard run for the uh, halfback for the Ravens as they get on the board here for, uh, here in the mid part, uh, or, at least, or at least early part of the second quarter here. And that is going to be a uh, touchdown for the Ravens. So the Ravens looking like a team here and uh, now trying to get themselves together here. Hopefully that will be a jump start them into a ball game here. Now 24-7. Still down by uh, two possessions, as we'll see. Second and eight now for the Steelers. Steelers trying to get keep the ball going here, or keep it going here as they hand off to Bell, and they're going to try to see if they can get a big run from him. Cannot get the big run there, but they do get enough for the first down. That helps move the chains. Now first and ten, ball on the 33-yard line. Hand off again to Bell. Bell trying to run this one, breaks a tackle, breaks two tackles. Finally, he is finally taken down at the 38-yard line. And it'll be a gain of five. Now, third and eight. They lost some yardage there. Uh, after the uh, next play, we'll see here that they are going to do play action. And they're going to throw this one up there to Green. Green, try to hold on to the ball there. But he gets hit in the traffic there. And that is going to be an incomplete pass. And that's going to force them to punt the ball. So now later on in, in the next drive here for the Ravens, as we see a third and eight. We'll see Flacco here drop back and fires this one up the middle there. And that is broken up there. Nice job from the defense putting the uh, uh, bat and weight the ball there. They'll have to for be forced to punt the ball. Now, we'll see the uh, Steelers now get the ball back here. We got uh, 
Brian in motion, and we'll hand or we'll throw this one off to uh, Jesse James, who gets the first down in the play there. Nice job there from him. But uh, really stepping up here as of late here with his catches. Now we'll see Ben get sacked there near midfield, and that's going to be a big loss. That's going to be a loss of 10. Now we go third and 20, ball near midfield. Ben's going to drop back here. He's going to try to get that yardage back here, but that is going to be just a uh, two yards shy there. They only get 18 on the play. And it's going to be a second or fourth and two. So now, ball on 33-yard line here. It's a 50-yard kick here. We'll see if Boswell can get this one. And I don't think he's going to be able to get this one. He has. No, he does not have it. He had the power, but just did not have the distance there. He comes up short there. And that is going to be no good. So Ravens will get the ball at the 40-yard line here as we take a look at the replay here from Boswell. Now, great effort here from him. And there you see he just had the power, but just not the distance there. And we'll have to now have to uh, be on defense here at the 40-yard line. So Ravens at their own 40 here. They give the ball back to their halfback here, who's been doing really well. Over 100 yards now, 12 carries, 114, and one touchdown so far. Third and 11 here, big play for the Ravens as Flacco drops back. Looks, fires, those one off to the left side there. Williams gets the catch. Williams takes off here. He is going down the field. He gets pushed out there at the 34-yard line as Ryan Shazir just upset with himself on that play. Thought he had him wrapped up, but not, not the case there. We go now first and 10. Ball the 34-yard line here. We'll see Flacco dropping back and throw this one there. That is going to be another nice catch and then help try to move the chains here. That's just a yard shy of the first down marker. Second and one for the Steeler or for the Ravens here as we hand they hand off to Forsett. Forsett drops the ball. That's going to be a fumble. Steelers get the ball back and that's going to be marked at the 24 yard line. Nice job there, roughing up the halfback there, and they the Steelers will get the ball there in their own 24. So first and ten here for Rothsberger. He's going to drop back, throw this one, and that's going to be a nice catch. That's going to be enough for a couple yards there. We'll say about. Six on the play. Second and four now. Ball on the 29-yard line here at the two-minute mark here in the second quarter. We'll see that, that Sammy Coates gets the ball. He is pushed out at the 29-yard line. But wait a minute. There is a flag, but it's coming from the from the area of Sammy Coates. And it says the referee says it was Pat roughing the unnecessary roughness. And that is going to be called on the full – or the full – say. Um, the uh, full safety uh, there, or free safety there. It's not full safety. Free safety, Eric Weddle. So, first and 10, ball in the 23-yard line here. We'll see Roethlisberger drive back, fires, and throw this one up the middle there. That is going to be a catch, and Brown will get that one. Nice job here as Brown gets enough for the first down. There you see Ben's numbers, 10 of 14, 184 yards. First and goal, ball in the 6-yard line. Bell runs this one, gets a little block there, trying to get around the block, trying to get up the field, but gets stopped there and at the six-yard line there. It's going to be a second and goal situation. So just uh, with 25 ticks left here in the ball game here, ball in the nine-yard line, they're going to try their best to get this one in here. They're going to try it on the ground once again, but Bell, or this time it's Cobb. Cobb breaks two tackles before he's finally wrapped up there at the 10-yard line. So fourth and goal. Steelers are going to try to get one more, uh, try to get through at least three more points here before they go to the half. And they kick this one up there. That kick is good. And they have a 20 point lead here going into halftime. 27 7 here after this kick there. Nice job there from Boswell getting this one this time in his range. As the C, the Steelers uh, have the lead by 20 here. And a nice job so far here from them. So, Flacco and the Ravens got to get something going here. Flacco really needs to be um, passing the ball a lot more through the air and not rely too much on the running game. Even though they do have 123 yards, they are having a good day in running. But they got to get that passing. You see only 37 yards passing compared to what we have done so far. So, we'll go ahead and kick the third quarter off here and we'll see... That it will be a kickoff here. The Steelers will get the ball first here. And we'll see that. Oh, boy. This one's going to go right down the sideline here. This is going to be a nice run. As Gilbert has this one, he's going to go all the way into the end zone here and celebrate. But wait a minute. There's a flag on the play. Oh, no. 
Hopefully this is not going to come back. And we'll see what this play is on. It's going to be holding against the return team. And that's going to be on LJ Fort. And that's going to put us at the 25-yard line. So they put us at the 25. We'll see Bell here try to run this one in there. He will get a nice run. There you see 12 carries. Or excuse me, 17 carries for 63 yards uh, for him so far for the day. He having a really tough running day here in the Steelers running game. First and 10, ball on the 11-yard line here, and that's been kind of a thing here in the last couple of weeks now with the running uh, run blocking here. Not really good run blocking, as we'll see there. Not uh, Just gets around that one, get a couple yards that time around. Now third and six, we'll see what they'll do as the, the ball is on the 6-yard line or 7-yard seven, seven line here, and Cobb trying to run this one in there, and he does so. Dragging a Raven in there into the end zone. That is going to be a touchdown. First touchdown of the season for Cobb as he's on the board along for his ball club here. As you take a look here, they're trying everything. You see Weddle trying to jump across there to make sure he does not get across that uh, that goal line. But it is going to be a touchdown. 34-7 now. We'll see Flacco here dropping back. And that one almost gets picked off there. Darn it, just not the luck there for the defender there. As it's going to be a fourth and nine now for the Ravens, and they will be forced to punt the ball. Now, first and ten, we'll get the ball back near around the 35-yard line, and this is for some really good field position now for the Ravens here. Try to stop the Steelers. The Steelers have been doing really good here, getting to the red zone here, but having red zone trouble, uh, especially when it comes to the rushing. They want to try to uh, utilize the rushing game a little bit more here, use Bell a lot more compared to last year as Bell was pretty much out of the season for the most part. Third and 12, we'll see this time. It'll be a nice catch there from Green. Green gets the catch there. Nice job there from the tight end as he gets enough for the first down. You see 200 yards and one touchdown for Ben Roethlisberger today. So far, no touchdowns. That's, good. That's actually really great. Second and 10. We'll see Roethlisberger drops back, fires this one, and that one's going to go off to the end over there to Brown. Brown's going to run this one in. He gets all the way ran all the way in to the one-yard line there. Now, um, later on, we have actually found out that he was actually doing a favor here for Bell. He's like, hey, Bell's my bro here. we got to help him out here. He's having trouble in the red zone here, and I want to make sure he gets into the red zone. Now, of course, now that's not going to be good for you fantasy players out there, but hey, uh, he wants to help his teammate out here, so their ball is on the one yard line here, can they punch it in here for Bell, Bell gets the ball, gets in there, no problem there, and it's going to be a touchdown, so thanks to Brown helping them out there as Bell gets his touchdown, first touchdown of the day here, gets on the board here, it's now 40-7, to seven. extra points still pending, so we'll take a look here and see, just a nice little scamper there, from him as he gets the uh, hole that he needs there to get inside there and get into the end zone. Now, first and 10 for the Ravens. You get the ball at the 34-yard line after the kickoff. We'll see for set there. He gets hit and rumbled, but wait a minute. There, fumble there goes, and no one can get a hold of it. No Steeler can get a hold of it, but a Raven does. So the Ravens hold on to the ball, thank goodness. But take a look here. Just a nasty hit there. Good hit, but a nasty one there. Now, third and 16. The ball's on the 28-yard line here for the Ravens. As Joe Flacco here now going to try to move the ball through the air. Throws this one up there. That goes up there. And that gets caught and put brought down by Sean Davis. Sean Davis trying to run this one, but he does so. Runs it all the way back to the Steelers' own 28, or th excuse me, 37, or 38-yard line there. That is going to be a first and 10. And the Steers have great field position now off that great interception from Sean Davis. Now take a look at the replay here. And yeah, just he I think he just waffles that one up there thinking that the wide receiver will have enough time to get there. But Sean Davis realized what the quarterback is doing, gets there before the wide receiver could, and of course brings down the ball. So nice job there from the Steers defense. Hey, I told you guys, the Steers defense is definitely stepping up here. And hopefully this will be something that we'll see the rest of the season. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. And we'll see here if uh, the fullback or the halfback here, Bell, runs this one back. And he is going to get right back to the line of scrimmage on that play. Now we'll see a third and nine situation here. I formation for the Steelers, as you'll 
Let's see here, there just got about 5.43 uh, left here in the third. We'll see Ruben Rossmar drop back, fires, and that one almost gets picked away. It gets tipped, but also gets almost picked away there. Dangerous throw that time around, and they'll be forced to punt the ball. Go now to second and 12 here for the Baltimore Ravens as they'll hand all this one to the full or halfback there. He will run this one. That will be a stop there as he gets back to the – or he actually loses a yard there on the play or actually gains a yard and almost gets back to the line of script, original line of script. But that's going to be picked off right there as Ryan Sajir picks off Joe Flacco, and they get the ball back at their own – all right, the Ravens, the 36-yard line here, and oh, Ryan Shazier is down. And will he be out for the game? No, he's actually uh, been showing the test. Uh, the uh, X-rays they took were negative. He will be he'll be taken out for the rest of the game there, just for a safety precaution. But second and seven, we'll see this one thrown up the middle there. Nice catch there by Antonio Brown. Of course, uh, now Brown wants to get back into the end zone himself as they get hit the ball at the 17-yard line. Third and 10 for the Steelers. As the Steelers look like they're going to strike here once again for another score. Ben Roethlisberger gets out. Try to get out of the pocket there, but he gets tackled there. And he will get a sack there by Witherspoon. First sack of the day for Witherspoon here. As we'll see here, deep kick here. This one goes up and in. That is going to be a nice kick there. That one goes in. The Steelers now lead at 44-7. Great kick there from Boswell. Now we're tracking down. Uh, Flacco and Flacco gets taken down there. Nice play as he cannot get the third down conversion there. And it's going to be a fourth and 21. Speaking of the fourth, fourth quarter, here we go. Third and eight for the Steelers here. Ball on the 43 yard line. Handoff or throw off there to the uh, receiver. That's going to be a nice catch there as Brown gets that one and gets down easily. Six uh, receptions, uh, one touchdown, 119 yards. Now we'll see first and 10 for the Steelers as the Steelers ball have, have the ball on the 29-yard line. And Ben's going to throw this one up the middle there to Brian. Brian gets the catch on the slant. Nice job. And there you see the numbers there for Ben Rossberg compared to last week. And so far, no interceptions. Well, he has two touchdowns here today. We'll see if Ben can continue this on as he gets to the 11-yard line. First and 10. And we'll see that Ben looking uh, at the defense here. Doesn't like what he sees, so he's going to change the play up some. Ben goes up and this one, and that one gets broken away there again. Almost another interception there. Getting a little scary here now as we're getting to the uh, near goal line. Third and one now. We're going to look like we're trying to throw this one in there, and Ben does. So he throws this one, but it gets tipped away as I believe Bryant could not hold on to that one, and they'll be forced to kick a field goal. But instead... They decided, hey, we're going to go for it. So fourth and one ball on the two-yard line here. Ben's going to throw another slant right play. That one goes to Brian, and he gets the catch, and that is a touchdown. Steelers get another touchdown. It is now 50-7. to What a blowout this game has been for the Ravens here. As you see, the Ravens, yeah, just oh, come in there and just hit Ben. Hurdle over the offensive line there and just hit. Of course, Ben absorbs the play there. But get that ball to um, uh, Brian there to get the touchdown. First and 10, ball and 37-yard line here for Flacco. Of course, Flacco having a little trouble here today. Haven't been throwing as much as now is here in the later latter half of the fourth now, trying to throw the ball down the field. Gets that one. That's going to be a first down. Third and five, ball on the 42-yard line here in Steers territory. We'll see him. Uh, Flacco throw that one. That's going to be an incomplete pass there. As you see, he's already been picked off three times now. Now, this is a 62, I want to say a 63, maybe 64-yard kick. This one is up, and it is good. What a leg on that kicker there. It's now 51-10. So, Baltimore back on the board, scoreboard here, but just a little too late here. As now we have 8.15 left here in the, fir in the fourth quarter. We'll see Ben Roethlisberger throw this one up there. He catches, uh, Brown catches that one. Nice job. Comes down on that. Gets the ball. Comes down on it. There you see seven receptions, 140 yards, one touchdown here. He should have two, but he was uh, trying to help out a fellow Steeler. As uh, they'll see now, next play, Jesse James gets the catch, and he will tumble there at midfield. It'll be third and two. Third and two now at ball at midfield. 
We'll see what the Steers can do here to convert for the first down here this time around. As they hand this one off to Bell. Bell gets past the first down marker and gets a little bit more. Puts it at the 48-yard line now on the Baltimore side of the field. So first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line here. And we'll see now hand or play action now. And we'll see Ben looking down the field here. Throws this one up. And he gets picked off here. Oh, almost had a perfect day here, but gets picked off. He's trying, I believe, trying to get that one to Sammy Coates. Uh, but uh, we'll see that it will get picked off. Take a look here at the replay here. Throws this one up. Doesn't really realize that it's actually, oh, Bryant there. It really doesn't realize that Bryant has someone in front of him. And Jimmy Smith comes up and just takes that one out of the air. And now has possession now for the Ravens. First and 10, ball on the 20 or 30 yard line here. Flacco drops back. He fires this one. And he, uh, the tight end there, just cannot hold on to it there. Actually, the, excuse me, the wide receiver there couldn't hold on to it. And it's going to be a complete pass. Third and four, ball on the 36 yard line here. Flacco dropping back, looking. Throws this one because of pressure. Almost a lineman almost had him there. Could have shoestring tackled him, but couldn't. And we'll see here. That will be it for the Ravens as they cannot do anything. But the Steelers get the ball back. Of course, run the clock out and win this one. Final score, 51-10 to 10 is your score as the Ravens now 0-3 going into week four. As for the Steelers, 4-0, or excuse me, 3-0, uh, looking like, uh, like a well-oiled machine as they get ready to face the Oakland Raiders here coming up in a week four. So, nice game here, especially from the defense really stepping up as the defense uh, really just uh, scoring, helping scoring points. I mean, that's what I was really not designed for them to do, but just be able to get those quick three and outs, which they did several times here today. And that's something we would like to see more often here coming up in the weeks to come, especially next week. When we have to take on Clive uh, Mack and company there on that defense of the Raiders. Uh, now, take a look here at the scoreboard or the uh, stat score box here. You guys into the box scores there. You guys can check out those and pause the video. But for the most part here, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, these uh, this defense really has stepped up and the step up the defense that, um, that we're wanting to them to be. I mean, they've been... Making some really good plays here. Uh, of course, uh, you know we got to work on the offense there. We got to work on the uh, run blocking, uh, which is a big concern for us right now because we want to try to get uh, Bell the ball as much as possible. Because with him having the ball on the ground, that means the clock continues to move, and uh, we can uh, do a lot more with the offense here if we uh, once we uh, start spreading the offense a little bit more and uh, pat you know from running the ball to Eventually, you just spread the ball and, and pass in it as much as possible. So, um, that's going to be a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, th things to work on here. But we are going to be uh, something here that's we're going to work during the week is work on the run blocking there. Um, as the, the Raiders, you know, they are a good team. They had a, a really fun time uh, dominating us uh, when it comes to the running game there and really st uh, stopping us. Um, last season when we played them in the AFC championship game, um, you know, really put a number on bell until really until the second half where we were able to, um, you know, kind of get over on them and, and be able to, uh, move, you know, move the ball around on the ground. Uh, didn't have much, too much trouble on the air, but on the ground. Yeah. Uh, so we're hoping that uh, we can change things around and try to work, uh, war with the offensive lineman next week for, uh, the running game. So that is something we're going to be looking at next week. Of course, now also we're going to be uh, we're going to try to um, really uh, you know strengthen uh, the linebackers' positions. Uh, linebackers did a great job this week, uh, but we'll, hopefully we can just uh, continue working with them more often and uh, and get in, and get them in more involved in the game there. Okay. Maybe some more uh, rush uh, some. More blitzes, um, more uh, rushing and stuff like that. We got a, a media question here before we go. Uh, they're asking us about the uh, possible trying to get uh, Antonio Brown and um, Bryant re-signed here, and, and that's a, of course that's the answer we picked from the response there. 
And, you know, we, they haven't signed with us yet. We're still working with them. We want to uh, try to get those guys signed because those are our two wide receivers that are really important to us. Uh, and then we want to try to get them to uh, sign some uh, long-term deals, especially um, Brown as he is, you know, getting that age where he's at his prime of his career. And we want to kind of sign him to a long-term deal so he can retire as a Steeler. Uh, but right now, the both sides are not, uh, they're pretty close on what we want as a for a deal, but we're just not there yet. Um, and hopefully we'll be there here coming up next week. So coming up next week, and speaking of that, it's going to be against the uh, Oakland Raiders. Uh, at least they're still the Oakland Raiders here in this version of the game. Uh, one and two Oakland Raiders taking on the 3-0 Steelers and of course we're going to be still on the road here so second road game here this season and we'll see what we can do here against them uh, coming up so if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more um, Pittsburgh Steelers franchise here on ESGN net on Madden 17 thank you guys so much for watching uh, also don't forget to f uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter uh, for the latest news and information about videos and what's going on here on the channel uh, with those videos and uh, the world of sports in general. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, thank you guys uh, for checking out these videos. Uh, and we'll look forward to week four as we take on the Oakland Raiders coming up in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, keep yourselves healthy. And I will see you guys next time.